Hey guys, how's it going? My name is Dalrin. This video is going to come out later than normally because I am sick. I traveled three hours upstate, four hours wait time, three hours drive back just to become a US citizen. So <clears throat> this video is going to come out a little bit later because I spent the whole day sick, but I spent the whole day trying to record as many clips as I could. Anyway, Thank you guys so much for a continued patronage to the channel. Just watching, hitting likes, and staying subscribed helps a ton. Let's actually get a video out for the day. This one is going to be a discussion video. And uh, please do allow me to be a little bit more lax in this one. Simply because I just got... I had a rough day, basically. So hopefully everybody's having a good day. Hopefully everybody is staying sick free this uh, holiday week. Uh, week coming up? Weekend? I'm not even sure anymore. I don't even know what time it is. It's 17th. That's all I know. Anyway, let's talk a bit about these recent buffs that came out for rogues and how they feel in general. The background uh, footage is me and Sets is just doing some skirms as rogues. Now, I'm pretty sure even before the buffs, me and Sets could probably own everybody as rogues in skirms. But it was a way for both of us to just grind some AP, just kind of relax, hang out, and uh, do some twos as two rogues. He's playing Assassination, I'm playing Outlaw, and we're just testing out the damage and how it feels. And this is going to be my point of view, talking a little bit about the assassin buff, the outlaw rogue buff, and how rogues look in the future. So if you're somebody who was trying to decide whether rogue is something you want to play in the next patch, or from here on out, in Legion for PvP, then use this video as an indicative. I'll probably make a more, uh, over, more of a bigger video where I completely overview everything there is to do in terms of... Uh, deciding whether you want to play rogue and legion from here on out in future patches uh so a more detailed video might come out if you guys want to see it but uh, i want to talk a bit about the recent buffs first of all i want to say that outlaw is feeling amazing right now it feels great it feels glorious we don't have an increase of sustained damage but we do have an increase in terms of burst so that feels very very nice uh and what basically outlaw is is we're baiting our time until enemies pop a trinket then we throw him down in a full stun lock with all our burst and we're able to score a kill. And we we're also able to force trinkets and defenses every lineup. So it's a lot like playing subtlety back in like Warlords General or Pandaria where you would have lineups with any other DPS. You would make the lineups happen, you would bring in the burst and from uh, there on, besides that you're simply worrying about the setup. You're trying to get the right rolls, you're trying to get full energy, you're trying to get full combo points. But the spec definitely feels like it got damage when you are popping burst. And that feels really, really nice. Second thing I want to talk about is the Assassination World buffs. I haven't really played Assassination in terms of like competitive PvP. Yet. I haven't really played it in terms of uh, high rated, uh, you know, high skilled arenas. I did do a little bit of uh, fondling around with it in twos with a random healer. I think it was a Restoration Druid in the past. And the damage felt a little bit weird because it, you do have sustain, sorta. You do have burst, sorta. But it felt like. Something was missing, and an assassination rogue that basically made it uh, plain and clear, uh, as Blizzard decided to do, uh, it became a spec that was all about the damage. So, you either bring the damage to the table, or you basically bring nothing to the table. You don't really bring utility as an assassination rogue, let's be honest. Uh, mainly because you don't have any utility, you don't have any crazy CC like an outlaw or a subtlety rogue. You don't have a blind, you can't blind or vanish sap somebody, you can't do it all by yourself. So then we have this uh, weird situation where you don't want uh, assassination to be over buffed, you don't want it to be over tuned, but you also want it to be viable. So then we have a question of, well, how do we make it viable? What they're doing, uh, what they were going to do, and I'm pretty sure they're still going to do this in recent patch uh, for PTR, is they added blind to one of the toolkits of assassination rogues. Now, the blind is basically going to put it on par with the other rogue specs and make it feel like an actual rogue because not you won't have gouge. But you will still have a blind available, so uh, it will change the playstyle a little bit. It will bring some more to the team. So RMD is going to be especially good with an Assassination Rogue. And now that you can throw out a blind, so maybe RMP might be more of a viable option. Because I'm pretty sure Rogue Mage Druid is probably the best comp for Rogues to run right now. In terms of high rated arenas. Now, the buffs to both Outlaw and Assassination are really, really nice. For, uh, for starters, it fixes the whole issue of an Assassination Rogue in terms of not bringing enough damage and then asking yourself, well, is this class going to receive utility over damage instead? So by buffing his damage, you're basically bringing it back to where it once was, where you were all about the damage. And you're not really bringing CC, you're not really bringing crazy 
uh, I don't know, like rips to the table. You're not really bringing uh, some mass AoE fear to the table. You're just bringing straight up damage. And it's a simple fix to make it deal more damage. Uh, what they are doing next patch is giving Assassination Blind, so... That's gonna feel nice, I just don't know if they really quite need that blind anymore, but we'll see. I mean, I, I'm pro given assassination and uh, blind and given subtlety gouge, I'm pro all of that. But I feel like with the way they kind of made Legion, it would just balance a lot of things, so... Uh, might not be the best option in, in this iteration of the game. It's not a bad idea, it's just not the best option now, in my opinion. I feel like the biggest issue is the expansion of Legion. And I'm not saying Legion is a bad expansion. I'm not saying it's perfect either. I'm not saying it is exactly the problem, but it's just like the meta and the way that the expansion turned out to be. As a melee DPS in Arena, you need to be able to pull off damage. With casters who are already bringing enough CC, you can actually put two casters together and you have an effective comp because of how much CC you can bring. You bring CC, you bring steady good damage, you keep the targets out in the open instead of running behind pillars you score yourself a win. Uh, as a melee on the other hand, you need to be able to, let's say you put two melee together, you need to be able to run at the healer or run at whoever you're hitting, hit them as hard as possible. As soon as their cooldowns are off, peel back and run away if needed or pop defenses to live through it, but you need to be able to deal damage. So right now, maybe in the in the game where, it's, where we're at, combining a caster and a melee that might not be the best option, but when you are doing so, you would want to combine really good classes together. And rogues just weren't dealing enough damage. They were hitting less than a windwalker. They were hitting less than a DK. They were hitting. Le they were hitting less than a warrior. They were hitting less than any other melee that could run with a caster. Even enhancement shamans. I mean, it's a shaman. Normally, uh, we had expansions where the blues uh, basically took uh, the nerfs. But you know, I'm glad shamans are doing well right now. But yeah, it's just rogues were in a real, really tight spot in my opinion. And simply because you just didn't deal enough damage. There was no need to bring you on a team, so you could easily be replaced, and that was the biggest problem. Because you don't deal enough damage, and the expansion is currently about for melee deal and damage, then you don't really need a rogue. And it's completely understandable, because yes, you actually would want your team that's running with you to replace you with a Windwalker, so they can actually finally push over the hump and get 2200, while they're stuck with you playing 1800 1900, but you're a rogue, and there's not a lot they can do. If they're good enough friends, they'll probably keep playing with you and maybe you guys might have a really good Q session and finally push over 2k. But replace a rogue with a wind rocket, you got easy 2200. Like, it was just rogue wasn't doing well. It just wasn't, it wasn't hitting quite as hard. It's simple problem, it was a simple fix. So the buff to agility made us hit hard enough, but we are viable, we are actually an option. And if, I, I understand me completely, a, a, a partial, partial blame kind of does go to the expansion, but also like the way expansion is played. If Legion was an expansion full of CC, then we could definitely do well as rogues, because if it was all about uh, locking down the healer for a long enough CC, rogues would bring the CC. You have the 7 second kidneys from Deeper Stratagem. You have the 6 second range stun from Outlaw and a blind to follow. You have a kidney into a blind into a triple sap by subtlety. And if the game was enough where, let's say, you can bring a DPS and you would just solo uh, whoever while you CC the healer completely, just put him out of the game for a full, however long, two, two years worth of duration, something like that, then I think I'd be fine. But the way the game came out, it just was about dealing damage. Just from, at least for melee, it was about dealing as much damage as possible. And rogues just weren't. So this damage increase solidifies rogues, like as Outlaw can still do your burst potential with another class, uh, tricks of trade and you're good. S S Subtlety still is able to have good sustain and it's going to be a little bit harder to get their damage off because uh, Nightblade will be harder to cleanse because you can't actually cleanse Nightblade anymore and they're increasing damage on your artifact weapon so to be able to line up burst with another class using uh, Gormor's Bite is going to be a little bit easier. And Assassination will still have good sustain damage and will still have good uh, burst damage. So all the changes and all the nerfs coming out to rogues in patch 7.1 with deeper strat and some of the other abilities, the slows, I'm not sure how that's going to fit. The slow nerf is going to feel really, really weird. But the fact that we can still lock someone down in a stun lock and destroy them if they don't have a trinket or other defensive available, that just justifies the viability for rogues, in my opinion. So we're going to be a spec that will still, or our classes can still dish out damage. Whether it's doing burst, whether it's doing sustain, whether it's all sustained damage and have a lot of control. 
but it is going to help rogues a ton just being able to dish enough damage out so i think this is a good thing so let me know what you guys think about the rogue buffs that we got recently thank you so much for watching i'm so sick so i'm gonna go lay down after rendering this and uploading this but i'll see you guys in the next video